A goad. A goad. You know what a goad is spelled G-O-A-D? You might have seen this word in Scripture once or twice. The first time it appears is in Acts 26, verse 14. It's the Apostle Paul recalling his testimony, in which his former life, by the way, when he was named Saul, he persecuted Christians because he thought that they were following the wrong way, <laughs> but they were following the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus. But he thought that they were doing it wrong. He was a very zealous Pharisee, religious guy, and he was all about religion, but he wasn't about the relationship. And so he found himself in a situation where God opened his eyes, spoke to him, and said to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? It's hard for you to kick against the goats. How many of you have read that thought? What the heck is a goat? <laughs> All right? What's a goat? Well, good news. I'm going to tell you what a goat is today. All right? If you've ever been in charge of keeping the fire going, keeping the fire going, and you know what a fireplace poker is, right? That, that metal iron pointing thing, right? And, and you, you, you can put the logs wherever you want to put them, push them around, right? Well, that's what a goat basically looks like. And it was used by uh, a farmer. He had his oxen yoked together and he was plowing his fields and the oxen would sometimes take a break uh, and when they weren't supposed to take a break and he would poke them with the goat. Get going, get moving, right? And what they would do, because they don't like that, no animal likes being prodded along, right? So they would like kick against the goat, right? <laughs> But their, their head is fixed in the yoke and they can't see what they're doing, so it's like this. It's like you walking around in the middle of the night trying to find the bed so you don't stub your toe, you know? You can't see it, right? You're kicking against the goat. You don't even know what you're doing. Well, this is another place that God's word refers to the goat. The wisest man in the Old Testament, King Solomon, said that the word of God is a goat. It says in Ecclesiastes 12, 11, the words of the wise are like goats, like nails firmly fixed are the collected sayings, and they are given by one shepherd. The words of the wise are these goats that keep you moving along, keep prodding you along, because you can get stuck in your stinking thinking, in your addiction, in your hurt, and you need someone to prod you along, keep you moving. That someone is God's word. God's word needs to push you along and get you out. There was a man who was in the grip of a terrible depression for more than a year. But he was delivered because daily he meditated on one verse. Not my will, but yours be done. That was his verse. Meditating on a day and night, it goaded him, urged him to think about his life on his own uh, on those terms, not his own terms, but those terms, and he was brought out of that depression in a relatively short time, and he never returned to it. The Word of God moves you. It's the way of escape. Let it be your goal. Let it help you when you face temptation, and let it free you from any strongholds that you have. Amen.